is in your inner circle. My friend, I hope you're listening because this is a matter of life and death for many people. The University of the Philippines Population Institute made a study, massive study. In 2013, 3% of the Filipino youth tried to end their life. This is serious, 3%. 2013, in 2021, that number grew to 7.5%, meaning to say 1.5 million of young people in our country tried to end their life. And this is disaster. This is a tragedy. But listen carefully, it gets worse. Six out of 10 of those young people, they did not reach out to ask for help. Why? They do not have an inner circle, a group of people, one, two, three, four, five people that they can reach out to, divulge whatever they're going through and ask for help, ask for a listening ear, ask for guidance. My dear friend, this is very important. And you may not be young, but even adults go through life without an inner circle. I want to thank God that all my life I've had this inner circle. First of all, my mom, my dad, my sisters. Thank God for my biological family. And that's number one. I pray that you have within your family people that you can just share anything and be accepted. People that you trust. Maybe it's a mother, maybe it's a father, maybe it's an uncle, maybe it's an aunt, maybe it's a cousin, maybe it's a grandfather, maybe it's a grandmother, maybe, you know, it is a sibling, it is someone in your family or a group of people, not only one, but two or three or four or five people in your family that you can share. Then you can be able to cry and be able to unload. I pray that you have that in your own biological family. But... I'm going to ask you to look for people outside your family, friends and mentors. And here's my big ask. I want you to consider joining a spiritual family, a community of people that love the Lord together, that journey in life, that do life together. That has been my greatest blessing. I want you to know, since I was 12 years old and 13 years old and 14 years old, we started the feast, the light of Jesus, when I was 14. And ever since that time to this day, we have been serving God together. But I also have a group of friends that we do serve the Lord together. Yes, but we also live, do life together go through our ups and downs, share our battles, and share our wounds. And it has been such a great experience, not being left alone, not being isolated, but having a squad, just a beautiful family to do life together. I pray that you do this. In our gospel for today, Jesus chose his 12 apostles. They became his inner circle. This is what I want you to do after we pray. Write down in the comment section your inner circle. Thank them for being part of your life. And send them this video. Appreciate them. Thank God for each of them. I pray that you do this so that you nurture the bonds that you have with your inner circle. For those of you who do not have a spiritual community, please find one. If you cannot find one, go to the feast. We're here. You belong already, right now. Go to the feast nearest you. We've got hundreds of feasts around the world in different cities. And then ask for a small group. Aside from the feast, you know, if the feast is big, they will have a small group. If the feast is small enough, that's your small group because we, we've got small feasts. And yes, journey with others towards the Lord. I repeat before we pray, Write down in the comment section your inner circle, their names, tag them, send them this video, and tell them thank you for doing life together. Let's pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that today we are here just to say thank you for all the people that we do life together with, and thank you for our inner circle. And we pray that you guide us so that we can have 
a stronger bond with these people. Thank you so much, Lord, for blessing these relationships. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I want you to write down in the comments and tell me who your inner circle is. I repeat, tag them, send them this video, and tell them thank you for being part of my life. Are you looking for a place to replenish your spirit, a place to encounter God, a community that will journey with you in the Lord? Join the feast, our spirit will gathering like no other. Find out more through Facebook and I'll see you there.